uh, earlier this week, we had a tragic shooting here uh, close to close to us mm-hmm. here in uh, Texas. What is it? You you dog? What is it? Uh, How you say it? Nah, Udaldi. Udaldi. Uvaldi. Yeah. Uvaldi, yeah. Texas. Yeah. Um, oh, a what was it? A uh, young man. Eighteen. Eighteen mm-hmm. went into Rob Elementary and shot and killed nineteen students and killed two adults. Come on, bro. Uh. Basically, you know, we want to send our condolences out to those families and, you know, share y'all thoughts when y'all seen it. Um, what was y'all thinking or, you know, how y'all felt and things of that matter? Um, I guess, I, you know, mine is short. I'll go first. Uh, I was just pretty much uh, taken back, man, at the, um, you know, that somebody would actually do that, you know. Yeah. You, know what I'm saying? I, you know, I don't know the whole backstory of it. Um, but like you said, man, I just really want to uh, just try to give positive uh, reinforcements to the families. <coughs> you know, that I hope they're um, making it as best as they can. I know a tragedy of this magnitude is very hard to deal with on a day-to-day basis, man. I just, you yeah. know, my heart really does go out to them. You know, I'm, I'm even getting emotional right now. But yeah. I just, I want the family just to hold their heads up and just, you know, just try to make it day by day. You know, that's pretty much all I can yeah, say about the situation. Everything Joe said, bro, for real. Yeah, like, seriously. It's just tragic how close that was to home. Like, that's yeah. Texas. Like, that's, yeah, that's, that yeah. can happen anywhere, man. Oh, yeah. that is true. crazy. Like, that's I, true. I just feel so bad for everybody that was involved. Even, you know, the trauma that these kids going to go through. Man. Uh, the rest of their families got to go through, friends. and It's just crazy. Yep. Yeah. I, I do feel like um this is a very sad situation and um uh, I know everybody always say the same thing, you know, I try not to, but my heart does go out to the families and everybody impacted by the situation that went down. Um I don't wanna get too deep in it, but I do wanna say, um, man, it's been said before and it still stands for me, but it's definitely been time for a change, you know. We have to get something different going on in the education system all the way around, not just in little plugs, like not Band-Aids, but the whole education system within itself needs to be changed around, and it's long overdue, Um, especially with all the technology and everything we got going on now. The educational system could have been revamped a long time ago and made something actually beneficiary, I mean beneficial. I do. That is not disrespect to any of the teachers out there because we do have great teachers out there that are doing a phenomenal job, and I want to shout out to them also yeah. because with stuff like this going on, you have teachers risking their life for kids that aren't even theirs. So you are the true heroes. Um, I do also. Um, I do also want to say, man, you just gotta. You, these are these are things now that has to you have to incorporate into talking about in your household. These are things, you know what I'm saying, conversations now you have to incorporate with sit down, talking to your kids. And, you know, when you talk about the world and day-to-day things, you have to talk about these things, them having awareness and them what to do in certain situations. And I just, you know, it's messed up, but that's the world we live in now. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, I'm sure everybody knows how I feel about the situation already. I think Eric was extremely well-spoken there. Um, I don't want to sit here and say, you know, thoughts and prayers because that's so cliche and Mm -hmm. that's not bringing none of these kids back and that's definitely not creating change. But what I will say is that I hope this is the final straw. Yeah. You know, like I was, you know, just reading everything because like I said on IG, like I don't have all the answers, but like for us to have 288, you know, shootings and the next closest country has like eight, it just I don't I don't see how you look at that and you don't think that's a mad discrepancy yep. it's it's that's crazy that's almost a, a shooting a month yep. um, when you do the math so um, you know I, I hate it that you know it, it's not till after the fact that you know we we all get up and we're upset but you know our, our hands are tied it's, it's up to it's up to you guys to 
to look at it and and make those changes. And I've seen y'all do that, mm-hmm. you know, with, with tons of other tragedies. You gotta research, research, and yeah. go vote. Ain't none of this yeah. gonna stop until you get the people that's not handling their business about that office. You have to take the time because, like I've been saying way back when elections happened and everything, they counting on us not to vote. Right. They counting on us not to, you know what I'm saying, they counting on us to complain, be sad, and move on. Right. You know what I mean? They know when that time comes, when the polls open up, and when it's time to vote. We either going to go our popularity or we not going to vote. You know what I mean? And that's what they want. That's what they count on. So it's like a part of it is on us, too. We have to get out there. If we want that change, if this is if this is really impacting us and we tired of it, like Wes said, if this is the last straw, you got to get out there and vote, One man. One thing I don't want, bro, I don't want some new shit to happen, like some celebrity shit to happen throughout this next month and then everybody forget about this shit. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's deep. Bro. That's deep. Like, that's real, bro. Cause that happens a lot. And that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. you said, it's like month to month. Like yeah, let's not in, not not saying enjoy, it, but like get over what happened just in November, December type. You know what I'm saying? Like, well said, bro. It was another true. episode. I forgot what it was, and we were talking about just getting numb to this because yep. it happens oh, so God. frequently. You know, and it's it's more than mass shootings. Like it's just like death, 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 and it's like online for you to see and and um. Man, they like, want to just talk about. Shit. I'm like, I don't want to talk yeah. about this, bro. Like, yeah. we need to, y'all need if y'all want to say y'all are government and charge people this and that to do this and that, y'all need to do something about this. Yeah, man. yeah like, that, there shouldn't be any. I don't understand how there's division. I, be like, like everybody should should see this, you know, and be on the same page that something has to happen. Yeah. It's it's not. That's, yeah. It's not about. Can't tell kids to, they need to grow up and go to school right. when shit like this is happening, bro. Like, right. I don't want my kid. I don't even want to have kids when like this. That shit mm-hmm. scares the fuck out of me. That's bro. the last. That's the last thing you expect to happen to your kids when you take them to school. Like exactly. You know. And I don't, mm-hmm. You know. And everybody should be furious. Like we're not special. Like <laughs> none of us are special. That was San Antonio. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like that could be any of our kids, and like that shit, right? It like really we're saying, is, it's just it's it's, real, it's sad that you know you can't even feel comfortable having. You shouldn't have to worry about if your kid is okay while they're at school. Right. You know what I mean. You shouldn't have to worry about that. And oh. that's go ahead. I was listening to uh, came on radio today, and one of the guys said like, you can't really, you know, what I'm saying, ain't nothing you can do because like even if if someone has the the thought to do that, they can just wait for the kids to come out, get mm-hmm. out of school, and just start. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying Firing off Like yeah, uh, You know what I'm saying The best we can do is like Pray and You know Hope that That ain't on people's heart like, yeah. You know at the time mm-hmm. like this Like It's like literally yeah. Literally nothing we can do But pray yeah. And yeah. another thing You know When these things happen Man like A lot of these people We gotta make examples of And by that I mean Like to the harshest of the law Like Cause this yeah. is yeah. This, this is stuff like You know what I'm saying You can't forgive like and, it's, and I know that everybody preach forgive it, but things of this nature, of this magnitude, taken away. What nineteen? You said nine, nineteen kids. Nineteen young. Yeah. Man, those could have been the next doctor. Those could have been the next. Like could have been the next president in that batch. Yeah. Like that. You're taking away from my future. Like you're doing more yeah. than just killing people. You're taking away from people's and hope. Like, yes, you're taking away from people's. Just the fact that it's man. kids, bro. Like, yeah, that kids. Is, I'm really, I'm the, really getting emotional because part of it. Like, I don't look at it just kids. Like, I look at it like just life. Like you got people got to understand the value of life. Yeah. Like we're not Ooh, promised yeah. tomorrow. Nobody yeah. in this room is promised tomorrow. Yeah. Take advantage of what you have now instead of wanting to kill and wanting to do these things. Try to become a better person. Yeah. Like in our seriousness, man, like people really need to understand that becoming a, a better person will make this world better. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 like, him, dude, that's definitely gotta look at uh, that. That's not teaching or spreading hate. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing because that, that's what he did this shit for, bro. Mm-hmm. Did you did you read the I don't know if y'all read like the article and stuff? I really didn't want to. I didn't want to read it. Deep into and this is like the bad thing about doing this job. Like you got to be informed on shit. Mm-hmm. So I yeah. finally mustered up enough strength to read it. But like he was, I guess he was messaging to some chick in Germany, mm-hmm. and you know, and it. She said, telling her what he was about to do and stuff. Yeah, like the day before. Mm-hmm. Before that, she said it was nothing of the sort. Like she never would have guessed that. Mm-hmm. And and to. And to shoot your grandma because she was quote unquote being annoying or something like, 
like I don't understand. I just don't understand. Like there's no excuse and like there's no way to make sense of it because mm-hmm. it's senseless. It's senseless. Like that's like real demon type shit, bro. Like Cause, yeah, yeah. Because I, I I understand mental health. I understand the house how far you can go, but that doesn't give you the right or the justification to do these type of acts. I don't care how mentally. You know, and I want to be sensitive, but I want to be honest in the same sense. I only I think it's disrespectful to people with mental health, bro. Yeah. It, that's I, that's I really exactly do. what I was trying to. There you yeah. go, Wes. Thank you for that. I, I, I you know, like growing up, I, I've learned more about it. You know, um, and I don't, I wouldn't see anybody with mental health issues doing this. Like I really believe the soul. Yeah. It's it's deeper than just like brain. Yeah, that's brain, yeah. that's soul. Because to me, that take it to a religious aspect. You yeah. know, I look at it like this. This is my, you know, this is my thought process of coming to be on the whole situation of, or just what's going on in the world right now. It's just like, man, you just gotta hold your loved ones close. It's at that point in time in life to where you know, like, it's not. I don't feel like it's not gonna get no better no time soon. You know what I mean, like. It's hard to say it, but it's just like things are going to have to change and people aren't willing to make that change. And, you know, just like how Brian had made the point of sad to say, but this will be forgotten in a couple of weeks. You know what I mean? Or it'll be it'll be two or three down on the important list behind some other bullshit, you know, behind some celebrity shit. Behind, let let a big celebrity break. Let, well, let Beyonce and Jay-Z, let Beyonce and Jay-Z break up right now and it'd be a scandal type shit. They'd be stopped talking about this tomorrow. It's true. You know what I mean, and that's and that's crazy. It sucks. You know what I mean, but it's just like until we get out of that mentality, until we get out of that, that 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 I don't I don't even know the right word for it. That whole that because it's a lifestyle now. You know, it ain't yeah. even like a thought process. Like mm-hmm. that's people creed. That's what they live by. You know, this social media stuff. This this I don't know. So it's just like man, it's gonna have to. It's gonna take a lot of things changing around. It's gonna take a lot of things. You know, happening. For things like this to not change, you know, to not happen anymore. But I also want to, like, you know, what I'm saying, shed light on all the kids that it affect. You know, the ones that got to go back to school. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, what I'm saying they true probably still scared. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, what I'm saying they, you know, they got to go through their whole life <laughs> remembering remembering that. this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> He's going back to the mental health stuff. Like, this changes them forever. Like, these are these are third, fourth graders. I remember what I was doing in third and fourth grade. Mm-hmm. To this day, girls and shit. we like, could we could go yeah. play outside. We used to go up to like Meadowbrook, like a mile up the road. Just yep. us. Yeah, you mm-hmm. remember? You, know, like, you remember what you was sport. doing like at third and fourth yeah, grade? Yeah. So we have adventures and shit. But these kids have to wake up. You know. Having Careful. the fact that I might not see my friend again, yep. That's crazy. you know, you know how hard it, it would be if if something was to happen to one of you guys, like you know, because I'm not. Yeah, in, oh sorry, no go, go, go. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but no, go, I'm go, just go, saying go. like you. That was something we thought about. Obviously, I don't know about like you I know. Never thought about bro, yeah, I'm, I'm, never thought okay, about you, that. Okay, well, you well, reality. I mean, you might have. You might have. Yeah, you might have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Certain areas, so right. I was like that shit was normal at some time. Yeah, but it was like. I didn't have to worry about it at this extent. Like, it was either somebody in the neighborhood doing some crazy shit. Yeah. Like, not a nigga from cool. down yeah. down the yeah. way just went crazy and decided to kidnap this nigga. Like, you I didn't what? have to think about that shit. I agree. Yeah, actually, like, I was, I did experience yeah. 9-11, so. That was good. I'll give you that. Man, it's just, like, it's just, <laughs> it's just time. Like, like Eric said, time for some real shit. A system to prevent. I mean, and I know, like, like DJ was saying, it's like it's kind of hard to prevent these type of things. But mm-hmm. you know, we have to find, a, you know, find a medium, find a, you know, find a balance in this situation, you know, in these type of situations. Right. right. And truth be told, like I said, not to even, I don't even want to dive too deep in it, but I feel like, I'll, truth be told, like you know, not to offend anybody, but this, a lot of this shit that's going on, this like, like this, for example, like this shit ain't no accident. You know what I mean? Like I ain't gonna even go deep. I ain't gonna go deep in it. But like I said, this shit ain't no accident. You know what pisses me off? And this is this is not left field, but like Facebook and Twitter, they can catch a motherfucker cussing and mm-hmm. and 
put them in Facebook jail and shit. That's what I'm saying. Y'all can't catch a motherfucker posting guns and shit. Like a kid posting guns. It's okay, exact. Shit. That's exactly mm. what I was saying Y'all too, bro. Know, like cyberbullying is way important. Don't get me wrong, bro. But like, there's yeah, nigga, I ain't catching the right catching motherfuckers. An 18, mm. yeah. 16 year old with guns. Why are you letting this happen, bro? You but, need to send the police that way. But bro. you know. But you know, and I don't, I'm I'm not defending the police because, like I said, y'all know how I feel, but he had no prior history of no type of criminal I mean, You know, I so mean, when he I went see, to buy it. a gun at 18, but at the same time, like. Like, honestly, one of us, don't, well, it will. I know what you're trying okay, to say. me, me. I know what you're trying to say. If I go buy a gun yeah. at a young age, you know, I don't have any priors. I don't have any things of that nature. You probably won't think twice of me doing it. So I said, I see what you were saying. And it's easy for you to just go buy it because they can't tell you no if you don't have any priors. But mm-hmm. like, just because you look creepy or you look weird, you know. You know but you can't do that either, you know, because that's. But like that's what I'm saying. They can't even. Or, yeah, you know, exactly. So I, it's it's deep, man. You either gotta like cut out guns completely or like I don't know. And like I said, I don't have all the answers, and I don't want to talk about mm-hmm. that because we do live in Texas. I understand how mm-hmm. people feel about their guns, but like. Bro, it's it's like like you're saying it's a it's a deep deeply rooted problem. Like mm-hmm. every time, like you know, you went to the Travis concert. Like all this stuff happens because we don't nip it in the bud beforehand. Mm-hmm. Just put a band aid. Exactly, like you said, you just put a band aid on, and then it's like when stuff happens, now we want to be upset. Like it has to be eradicated beforehand, or like this stuff is going to keep on happening. Two hundred and eighty-eight, bro. That's almost the number of days in a year. No, that's crazy that's a damn shame. and the last thing I'm gonna say on it you know like like, like we were saying we have become a reaction country mm, yeah. yeah instead of you know you know pre you know pre-action is instead of reaction mm-hmm. like we wait to you know to somehow then want to come together and then want to you know do all these things mm-hmm. like we saying we should be having pre-action to where if these things can happen we we'll already have a system you know yeah but yes. again I want to reiterate I hope the families of these kids are are trying to get through their days as you know as easy as possible. I know it's hard. I just want to keep you know saying that you, you guys' hearts, souls are you know definitely on our prayers. And uh, I don't know you guys, but I love you guys, and I really mean that. Right. I really okay. mean that. Yeah. Okay. Well, shout out to uh, Beto uh, O'Rourke. Beto O'Rourke. Yeah. Too, yeah. by the way, you know what I'm saying. If y'all know what he did, go look and well, look up and see what he, he did. did. That's the one up there. Hey, charged he went up and charged up. Boy, first of all, we ain't, we ain't even do that, but go ahead. Nah, that, that was some G shit. But, uh, <laughs> was like a uh, clown ski. <laughs> love and respect, and we send our condolences uh, from the 5% podcast to Uvalde. Oh, man. No, we pay our respects. We love y'all, yeah. and we pray for y'all. 